Hello guys, welcome to a brand new series of GTA 5 modding in 2025. If you want to learn GTA 5 modding in 2025 and look up tutorials on YouTube, you will find that tutorials date from a decade back to today. There have been a few attempts to teach GTA modding to beginners but most of them are focused on tool usage only. This video will introduce you to the various tools required and different files used in the game to create various things like objects, map, characters, animation and a lot more. So, starting with the tools, the very first thing is Codewalker. Codewalker is a GTA 5 modding software made by DexFX that allows you to view and explore the GTA map, its game files and import and export them to XML formats. Next is Blender and Solums. Solums is a Blender add-on which helps you create various things such as models, animations, interiors, characters and vehicles. Solums is dependent on Codewalker XML files and can import and export in Codewalker XML format which enables you to modify GTA files and models. Now before we get started with GTA file formats, you should choose a platform on which you want to mod. Single player is the most versatile option if you want to do some heavy modding, but its file setup and requirement to restart the whole game might become tiring for small tests. 5M is a multiplayer GTA 5 platform which is a popular choice due to its ease of file setup where you can easily stream the files. Ordvi and RageMP are some other multiplayer options available in the market, so go ahead and explore and find what suits you the most. We will be using 5M for this series, but you can choose your favorite platform and read its documentation to see how to stream your mod. So, moving on to the GTA file formats, you can find the link in description, where you can read all the types of file formats which Rage Engine uses. Anyways, let's get started with the most basic and most interesting one. YDR file is generally referred to as a drawable. These types of files are generally a static model such as a rock, phone, statue or a weapon. YDR is essentially the smallest unit in terms of model files. Let's say you want to create a Pokemon statue, then you will create a YDR file. YDR file can contain collision data also known as embedded collisions and pad the textures within itself known as embedded textures. YTD file or texture dictionary is where you can store a bunch of textures which is used by your model. While you can pack textures within your model, YTD is an optimized and conventional approach where your required textures are kept in one place and can be shared with other models. It is important to note that YTD files only contain DDS images. YBN files are used to store the collision data of your map and tells the game engine where your character and vehicles can move and not just fall through the ground or run through a wall. Y-type file provides the information about the drawable to the game engine such as the model name, the texture dictionary, the collision being used by the model, the size of the model and a lot more. It is essentially the specification sheet of your model. Y-type files are not limited to this and can also provide information about interior properties and a lot more. Biomap files essentially tells the game where you want to place your YDR, your YBN and a lot more stuff. It is used to tell the game engine what piece needs to go where in the game world coordinates. YDD or drawable dictionary files are essentially a collection of drawables. While YDD files are also used for storing LOD models of the map, most common use case of YDD is for making characters or pets. All the pet components are of YDD format which may or may not include some skeleton data depending on the type of component and pet. YFT or fragment file, as the name suggests, are type of models which are breakable and have physics properties. If you ever see anything break in game such as light poles, it is a fragment. Fragments although are not only models which break but are also used by the engine internally to store skeleton data for pets, cars and what not. YCD or clip dictionary file is where all the animation data is stored. All the animations that are played in game are played using YCD files, let it be walking, dancing or fighting. YLD or cloth dictionary files are special files which are used to provide cloth simulation to pet components such as jackets or pants. 
These files are used in conjunction with YDD files and have complex intertwined setup with each other. Well, if you have reached this point of the video, you might be a little overwhelmed and may have thought, why am I here just to suffer? And answer to that is yes. Fortunately or unfortunately, suffering is a very common thing when you mod GTA 5. Jokes aside, if you are stressed about how you will learn so much, then don't worry. This is not school and you don't need to learn everything in a fixed time and sit for an exam. But if you are still excited about putting your work and imagination in the game, then you just might learn to do it. Well, if you found this video helpful, you can support the channel by donating from the link down in the description, like the video and drop a comment. Till then, see you in the next one.